Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to Chellington Farm. And if you recall from the previous episode, we had a couple, had a couple things going on, and um, I asked you guys whether you'd like to uh, wrap the bales in the field, or whether we should do them back at the farm. There seemed to be, most people said, wrap them in the field, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, I've purchased a wrapper. I've purchased the in-game wrapper, because it's actually, um, oh, I also I put traffic back on, as you can see. Um... Just on my way to the shop, as you can see, I purchased the in-game wrapper just because it's actually cheaper than uh, the modded ones I have, strangely enough. I don't know why, but uh, the modded ones I have are $65,000, and the in-game one is like $38,000. So it really doesn't make any sense as to the reason why it's so much more expensive. Maybe because the the color of the wrap, I guess? Anyhow, I thought it was a bit strange. Ah, uh, well. Alright, so I'll meet you back at the shop. Just coming up to the shop now. And we should have our wrapper situated right there. There we go. Excellent. Turn that off. I really need to find that mod. I know there's a mod out there that will automatically turn off your blinkers once you've made the turn already. Alright, let's pick this guy up here. Nope. There we go. And... Let's head back to the field. Now we're at field number 18, which is in the southwest corner, if memory serves. As you recall, I, as I, I did mention we do have traffic back on, so I do need to be aware of that. Thankfully, nobody was coming. Uh, sometimes it seems like that when you're uh, when you really want to take make a left turn, it's always the left turn. There's like you know a, a, just a crazy amount of traffic um, that you see just sitting right there, ready to get in your way. Ah uh, well. I know a couple of people said the traffic was unrealistic. I think it was Craig was mentioning that he thinks the traffic's unrealistic. It's not too bad, it just depends on what you're doing. Like normally, like if you're driving like this and there's traffic, it's fine. Uh, but as soon as you park something that's, you know, slightly in the pathing of that vehicle, then it becomes a problem. And then you have a big, you know, all of the, all of the, uh, oh, there's the field right there. Uh, all, all the tr vehicles just come out of nowhere and just line up right there. I know that you have to set up, uh, the way it works is you have to set up the uh, pathing uh, in Giants Editor. There we go. And um, what will happen is if you set it up incorrectly, you will, oops. If you set it up incorrectly, it'll run into things basically. Or it won't be on the right side of the road, which is the problem sometimes. So, you have to be aware of that. And the entrance is just right up over here. Don't know why. It's a back row, you don't really need a signal here. But, I did anyways. Again, you, I really think this would be fixed. Well, if I were the farmer, and I could fix it, I definitely would. Because this is just asking to break a piece, uh, piece of equipment. Really, look at that. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Oh well. Okay, so coming to the field right here. As you can see, we left the gate open. And because we're doing wet wrap, we're going to wrap right away. We don't need to let them sit or anything crazy like that. Let's go ahead and make sure this is unfolded. There we go. And let's go ahead and pick up our first bale. Now, the problem we're going to run into with this particular wrapper. Uh, this style of wrapper is, uh, realistically, you have to come in like this, off to the side, and even then, well, it just pops right in there. There we go. Starts wrapping, and we'll just wait for that. That's funny. Does it, let's just see, Can you, does it actually show? It shows it, but it just magically... It just magically shows up, which is kind of funny. Excellent. Is it O? It is O. Perfect. 
there we go. Let's go on to the next bale. Uh, so, I don't know how many bales, let's just check real quick how many bales we ended up with. I think we can check that in our statistics. 40 bales, uh, which is probably going to be more than enough, if we're honest. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll come around this area right here, and I'll wrap them. A lot of times what people do is, um, a lot of times what uh, farmers tend to do is, um, what they'll do is they will line all the bales up first, and then have them bring it, bring the wrapper in. Just wrap. <laughs> I love how it magically shows up. And then bring the wrapper in, and then do them all bang, 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 like one after the other. Uh, you know, there's different methods for it. Some people will like to arrange the, the bales first, depending on the style. Like this one isn't really, uh, this one isn't necessarily the most efficient style, I suppose. There are other styles where you can just like, one after the other, have a bale just continuously wrapped. Well, and you just drop it down like right beside it too. There we go. Now we're lined up for this one right here. This is good. Anyways, I'll wrap a few more bales and we'll come back in a moment. Alright. Uh, one of the really neat things, I just wanted to mention this to you guys. One of the really neat things about the uh, bale extension mod is this right here. So see how it still says it's grass? The humidity is 69%. Probably should have waited a bit longer. Um, it's a little bit high. Anyways, um, as you can see, it shows you how much the amount is, what it is. It's, as you can see, it's at 0.1% uh, fermenting. So it's not quite fermented yet. It shows you the quality. So right now it's just grass. So it's only going to be $82 for this bale, and it's A plus quality. So what will happen is as this ferments over time, um, will actually change the silage. So right now they're all, if I go over here to another bale that I did, uh, it'll say the same thing, say grass 0.2%. So eventually what will happen is um, it'll show you that it says silage and then that's when you know it's ready to go. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, again, that's the bale extension. That's a mod from a while back, but uh, still a really cool mod. Anyways, uh, let me continue on here. We got uh, we've done a few already. We've done, I don't know, maybe 30% something like that still got a ways to go yet um, so I will continue and I'll be back hopefully when it's all done all right just wrapping up the last bill or at least what I think is the last bill what we'll do is we'll take a quick little peek just to make sure it is the last one before you uh, drive back to the farm and we'll see what's what but it looks like this is the last one let's just see here I think it is so I think we just wrapped 40 bales, uh, not 100%, I think it's all of them. There may be a few oddballs that I missed, but I think this is all of the Okay, So what we'll do is we'll fold this guy up and we will drive back to the farm. Yep, looks like it's all of them, perfect. So what we'll do is, uh, I realized actually, now that I have these, uh, I have these all wrapped. I actually can't do anything with them with this particular tractor uh, because we don't have any tractors that are a front loader, which is kind of ironic. All right, make a turn here. Uh, I just thought it was kind of I, I, one of those things where it's like, ooh, yeah, gonna have to think about that one first for a while. So we actually don't have a front loader at all, so we'll have to uh, figure that out. We do have a couple options, mind you. Let's take a quick little peek. Uh, front loaders, oops. Let's go to front loaders. I think, do we have any tractors that are front loaded? I think we have, I don't think this one actually has a front loader. Uh, does it have the brackets? No. Can I add the brackets? Let's find out real quick. I don't think we can add the brackets. No. It's not quite so easy as that. That would have been a little too easy though. Anyways. So, I will head back to the farm and once I'm back I will... Well, we'll do a little drive first actually. Uh, which way is it? Right. There we go. Actually, it's not too far. From here to the farm, it's actually a quick, quick little jaunt, if memory serves. Um, I don't know why, but it's always, I always have to double check the map first. 
because um, I haven't played it. I guess I haven't played enough hours on this farm uh, to know where everything is right off the bat. Make sure we go over here nice and slow. It's funny, I was watching uh, WBF, and I think it was WBF, yeah. And he did a little uh, montage video of uh, moving the. Uh, Moving the combine back to back to the uh, the farm was pretty cool, actually. Uh, he did it to uh, what was it? Uh, some electronic music. It's funny, I haven't done one of those in a long time now. I realized. Uh, I don't know why. Just one of those things I just don't do all the time. But once in a while, I do it. So. All right, let's. Park this up over here. Right in front of the uh, rake, I think, would be fine. There we go. Perfect. All right, so let's take a quick little, let's uh, turn this guy off for a second, and let's take a little uh, no, I guess we, we technically could sell that, but we kind of need it to seed. Mm, what options do we have for front loaders? I don't think... Oops. We could... Uh, that goes on the John Deere. Okay, and we have this guy, which is cheap. We could... Uh, the problem... I the, One of the tractors we could use is the old... Um, is the the small John Deere, but the problem with that specifically is the fact that it uh, it actually doesn't no, it's not able to lift many bales, uh, which is kind of on the annoying side. And I think well, that's only twenty five. I don't know if that has a front. Uh, I don't think it does. This one right here, it's only fifteen thousand, but it actually can't lift up very many things, which is kind of a kind of annoying. I could get. Uh, a small John Deere 5 series or we could get uh, one of these guys which is really nice uh, but I think we're gonna have to go some, for something just a wee bit cheaper than that uh, so what I'll do is I'll see what we can do uh, and I'll come back in a sec after looking at our options I realize we don't have uh, we don't have that many options actually um, we could theoretically sell uh, the rake and go to a smaller rake but I like that one so I'm gonna stick with it and that the fields we actually have are fairly large. So we have uh, 18 is the one we're working on. And we also have uh, some of the other smaller fields there as well. Number 10. Is number 10 planted? I don't think so. Let's check. Uh, number 10 is not planted. We could actually plant that. Um, yes, we could. And 11. So we actually kind of looks like we need, we need to uh, we need to actually harvest a few fields. And um, if you recall, we actually sold our harvester, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, so I think what I'll do is uh, I'll figure out a way to solve that problem off camera, I think. And uh, we'll come back next episode and go from there. Um, so what we'll do is we'll have to, we have a couple options. We can either A, buy a rent, I should say. Uh, skid steer is 50,000. Yeah, that might be a bit... Uh, it's not practical on this farm, unfortunately. A wheel loader or a telehandle would be actually kind of nice. Uh, maybe not the JCB one. I don't like that one very much. We could do a telehandle of sorts. Um, 90,000, that's 105. Those would be nice, but I think a front loader tractor would actually probably be our best bet. Just because I don't know what else we would use the, the telehandle for at this particular time. So yeah, we have a few options. Uh, I think one of these does have a front loader on it or does have front loader attachments I'm not certain I'll have to double check that so uh, this one does but those are all kind of expensive uh, unfortunately and that John Deere this one right here is probably our best bet but I know it, those silage bells are gonna be too heavy for it unfortunately so we could go for maybe this but that is way underpriced ah, well so let me know what you guys think we should do in terms of the front loader situation uh, let me know what we should do and uh, we'll go from there. I think we'll have to deal with it somehow. Not sure how yet, but we will have to deal with it. That's for sure. 
Um, so until next time, folks, what I'll do is uh, I'll probably deal with a couple of these fields and we'll go from there. And maybe we'll have enough money for something else until then. So until then, folks, my name's Ian Robson. This has been Farming Simulator 2015 coming at you from Chellington Farm. And if you enjoyed yourself, why don't you go ahead and hit that share button. I really appreciate that. I'll catch you guys later.